With our live broadcast at 10 o'clock, the Supreme Court's ruling allowing cities to enforce bans on encampments is sending a ripple effect across the country. And we want to know what you think. Do you agree with the Supreme Court's decision clearing the way for cities to enforce bans on homeless people sleeping outside in public places? We posted a poll on our homepage. Just scan the QR code on your screen right now or go to NBCMontana.com to cast your vote. And we'll get to those results in a few minutes minutes but first our team coverage now shifts the conversation to Missoula advocates to see what the ruling could mean for our most vulnerable neighbors. Up first NBC Montana investigative reporter Bowen West spoke with the executive director of the Pavarello Center to see if it adds more pressure for area shelters. Following a controversial city council decision and a Supreme Court ruling regarding homeless bans, I was curious if these national and local policies has caused a division between the homeless population of the city and the people trying to help them. I hope that there is not a rift and that it doesn't, doesn't end up creating a rift. We all need to work together. Jill Bonney, the executive director of the Pavarello Center in Missoula, said the decision from the Supreme Court wasn't too surprising, and she doesn't believe it will impact Missoula's current rules. And it doesn't impact how the shelters will operate, with plans to continue as normal. What was your immediate reaction to the news? I was not surprised. Um, I do see from the mayor that not much will change in Missoula. An official with the city told NBC Montana the Supreme Court ruling will not affect the new ordinance that restricts where camping is allowed between 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. It is set to go into effect July 25th. Bonnie still believes this new ordinance will cause pressure on homeless in the city. That constant displacement increases individuals living outside the vulnerability to violence, theft, and health issues. Two demographics that are seeing a larger growth in Missoula's homeless population, those over the age of 60 and youth groups between the ages of 18 and 24 years old. The Pavarello Center can house 135 people. The Johnson Street Shelter, open during the summer for the first time, allows 165 people. Bonnie hopes anyone who needs to find a place to sleep will come in. I hope that if people are struggling outdoors and struggling with this ordinance, that they come to the shelters. Reporting in Studio Bowen West, NBC Montana. Social workers in Missoula are concerned about possible impacts from a new ordinance addressing urban camping. Missoula City Council passed a measure after lengthy public discussion and numerous work groups. But now outreach advocates say it will create issues with their day-to-day -day operations and the services they provide for those experiencing homelessness. Lots of reasons, um, medications, checkups, just helping out with different appointments. Um, sometimes it's really important stuff like, hey, your housing thing came in. We're not able to find them and inform them they're not able to move forward with their situation. Recent Montana data shows Missoula has the highest homeless population in the state, 449 individuals. Outreach teams say it is already hard enough to keep track of people before the new restrictions go into effect. This is going to cause people to not really be in the same place, uh, which is going to be pretty difficult. Some of the changes to be implemented and enforced include vehicle camping will be allowed with a permit for up to 90 days. Camping on city property will be allowed in some areas except for certain buffer zones. And that's only from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. before needing to pick up and move. This sparked major concern for social workers and outreach advocates. I think it's going to cause a lot of challenges. Um, for one, just we're not all on the same page as to how this is going to be implemented, how this is going to be enforced. City officials heard from social workers throughout the proceedings, the and Mayor Andrea Davis addressed some of their worries during the meeting when City Council passed the ordinance. We are committed to trying things that help mitigate the impacts for survival camping in town, and we evaluate those initiatives, and we correct and continue. That's the only way we're going to be able to try some things out and see what works and what doesn't. The new ordinance will go into effect July 25th. Reporting in Missoula, Dominic Vidiello, NBC Montana. And back to the poll we posted on our website asking viewers if you agree with the Supreme Court decision. Here are the current results on your screen with 87% agreeing with the ruling and 13% saying no. Again, you can weigh in at NBCMontana.com by scanning the QR code on your screen.